let's just look at the last example that we have here. Okay, so um, now we have the antiderivative in terms of theta. Okay, but it doesn't matter what we have. The first thing that you have to do is let me write out the questions, and we have L of theta that is from tangent theta to zero. And we have secant square t dt. But if you do the comparison with the general form that we have here, what you can see is um, basically what we have here is you have a constant at bottom and you have a function of g at the top. But what we have here is something in a different order. So what you have to do now is you have to flip the order. So just that is follow the sequence of the general form. So if you want to flip the order, the, the order in here, what you have to do is you have to add a negative in front of the integration. If you add the negative in front of the integration, basically the interval will flip. So we will have a zero here, and you will have a tangent data at the top. Of course, we will still have the same function of t here. So once you have changed it into the general form, then only we do the comparison. So if you do the comparison, you can see that my gx is basically uh, my tangent data. Now, we do not have gx, but we have g of data. We have to be flexible. We have to change the formula according to questions, and we will have here uh, g of theta because this is in term of theta, so this is likely equal to tangent theta. And how about the t? So function f of t. So function f of t will be, will be this. So we have f of t that is second square t. So as usual, we have to identify the g and we have to identify the f together. So once we have identified these two things, the next thing is we're going to write out the formula. Okay. Uh, we don't need the question anymore. Just look at the solutions. All right. Okay, so let's just look at the formula. So your formula should begin with L prime. And this is no longer x, but it is R data. And it will be D. Okay, this is not x anymore. It will be D data. Okay. And instead of bracket, you should write the integration. Okay, that integration that is this one. That is the original question. And we have the second I remember that just now we just flip the order, just flip the order of the interval. So in here, just rewrite it back. Just rewrite it back into the one that you already flipped the order. So we have the sequence of from 0 to tangent data and the second square d dt. Okay, and take out the minus, take out the minus that you have here. So we have the minus in front, so we have d, d data, and integration from 0 to tangent data, and second t dt. Okay, so now just write out the form, just write the next line. The next line, you have the f, and in your bracket, you have gx, but don't forget just how we have the negative. We have the negative, so you have to rewrite the negative to the next line. So you have f and you have g x here, and it's g prime. Oh, uh, now we do not have x, but we have the theta here, and we have g prime theta. So you have to change this formula according to your question. So your question is term of theta, so you have to change it. Okay, let's just look at this. Okay, so first of all, you're going to find what is your g data is. You're going to do substitution. You're going to sub in here. 
Okay, so in here you have the minus L. Okay, the G data, the data is basically and G data is tangent data. That is this one. Okay, and we're going to rewrite back to prime. All right. Okay, so let's just do the substitution. I'm going to sub the T as tangent into here. We're going to follow the same step as whatever that we did in example 1 and 2. So in here, we're going to have here, this is the T. We have to change it to tangent data. So in here, I will obtain secant squared. The T, you have to change to tangent data. So this is basically the answer that you would write here. So we have secant squared tangent data. Okay, how about the G prime here? The G prime here, that is, you could obtain from the differentiations to the G. Eh? So in here we have the secant square theta. So in here we have secant square theta. So this is the answer for the part A itself. So let's just look at the question. The question for the part B. So go back to the questions here. It is. Um, where's the question? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, we don't need this anymore. Okay. We don't need this. Okay. So we just delete whatever that we don't need anymore. Alright. Okay, let's just look at the question. The question is asked us to find this. F prime and you would have sub the data as pi. Alright. Okay. So part B, so you're looking for F prime pi. So this is very direct. So what we have to do is you just have to do a substitution, sub your data as pi. Okay. So sub into the equations that you obtain from the part B. So we have in here we have second and we have tangent. Okay, the theta change to pi. And we have second square pi here. So all the data change to pi. And okay, um tangent pi is basically zero. So we obtain a zero here. And we have second square pi. And secant is basically 1 over cos. We know that the secant is basically equal to 1 over cos x. And of course, when we have the square, it will be the same thing. You will all 1 over the cos square. So in here, you basically will obtain that this actually you can change it to 1 over cos square 0. And this is also 1 over cos square but it is in terms of pi and cos square zero is you can think of as the cos zero out of two and this is actually the cos pi out of two and the cos zero is give you one so we have one square here and this is uh cos pi is minus one okay so you simplify and now we have the answer and that is minus 1.